true fact, I have a hard time feeding myself. Now, I'm not saying that as a professional circus artist, I um, have a hard time earning enough money to put food on the table. What I'm saying is that quite literally, I have a difficult time keeping food balanced on a fork long enough to get it into my mouth. I love that about humanity. I love the fact that I can be really talented in one way and completely inept in another. I love the fact that all of us have different gifts to share with each other. So today, I want to share with you guys my gift, juggling. And I want to do something really special for Ignite Boulder. I want to juggle nine balls for you. So let me put this into context. As of 2014, 4,052 people had successfully summited Mount Everest. Also, 1,338 people had run a mile in less than four minutes in competition. As of this year, 552 people have been in space. Less than 400 have ever juggled nine balls. I happen to be one of those people. It's really cool. <laughs> now, I should take a moment to point out that the very first time I juggled nine balls happened to be in the year 1999. It came after nine months of rigorous training, and I estimate that during that time, I had about 9,000 failed attempts before my first single success. So this may take a couple tries to get it right for you guys tonight. And also, I'm going to turn around and face the screen, because right now I'm getting uh, blinded by the lights, and I can't actually see the balls at all. So please bear with me while we get calibrated here. You know, I just have to say, as a professional circus artist of 28 years, juggling nine has zero redeeming value. <laughs> We're talking about a skill that is stupidly hard, takes years of training, lasts two seconds on stage, and will never be remotely understood by any audience. Even, even after I was a solid seven ball juggler, I had no idea how difficult and beautiful it would be to juggle nine. Why would anyone invest so much energy and time into such a worthless endeavor? It's never gotten me any dates. <sighs> Good question, you ask. Here's what I can tell you. The reason that I practice nine is because the process of failing to juggle nine makes me a better person. You see, numbers juggling is a form of standing meditation. In order to juggle nine, I have to be completely centered and completely present in the moment. I have to free my mind, I have to unleash my soul, and I have to open my heart. Let me underscore that. In order for me to achieve my true potential, I have to open my heart expansively enough to hold everything. The good, the bad, and the indifferent. Now that is something worth failing for. All right, let me be perfectly honest with you guys. The last time I really worked on nine was back in 2008. <laughs> the idea that I could just hop up on stage tonight and get a successful run of nine within five minutes, well, the likelihood of that is exactly equal to the probability that when we all walk out of the theater tonight, we will step into a world that has suddenly and magically been freed from racism, violence, and the threat of global warming. It's not gonna happen. In actual fact, there is not a chance that I'm gonna juggle nine for you guys tonight, and during the two hours that we spend in this theater, racial tensions will have escalated, three to 400 people will have died violently around the world, and 17 trillion tons of CO2 will have been pumped into our atmosphere. Whew. Take a deep breath with that. Um, here's the point. 
I am going to juggle nine balls again because I love the practice of juggling nine and how it transforms me as a person. I'm going to juggle nine balls because today, more than any other time, I need to open my heart enough to love the very people that are out there destroying everything I care about. Our home is burning, and our leaders, they seem to think that a fire hose is the part in the middle that connects the fuel tank to the nozzle on the flamethrower so that they can spray more fire on the fire. I'm going to juggle nine balls again because I need to train myself to love more fiercely than they are destructive. I'm going to juggle nine balls because juggling is not about catching and throwing so much as the willingness to let things fall. And there is no way to overcome fear-mongering and violence other than an open heart and empty hands.